I love you, Daddy, because you give good hugs. You are big and strong. You take me for rides in style. But I love you most because you are all giving me a chance. She was filling out the card for her first prom to say that she was coming. <laughs> And then there was a second line below that that said guest, and she started to write something in there, and I said, that's if you're bringing a guest. And she says, I know. And I said, well, Sarah, you don't need to write anything in there. She goes, I'm bringing a guest. I said, you, you have a date for the prom? And she said, yes. Jane asks, did he ask you? And she said, no, I asked him. First prom, and she's got a date, and he's the most popular guy in school. I think I was always aware that something was different with Sarah. In those early years, doctors' diagnoses were pretty varied. Sarah couldn't speak or express herself for a long period of time. Basically, we had at least two neurologists look us in the eye and say, she's really never going to be able to walk or talk and said, you need to institutionalize her and get on with your life. And that was just not in our game book. I would like to introduce... Sarah! Dog, cookie, cook, 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 Mango, pineapple. Both my sisters came, one from London and one from Malaysia, for her graduation. I was uh, really, really touched. I guess, you know, with a, a typically developing individual if they graduate from college and all that it is a big deal um, and it is it is for Sarah too because she's worked so hard up to this point she thrives in the school she gets really good grades and uh, but a lot of times people don't see that if I could only express in words how important that moment was for not just for her but for all of us both there and she said something about autism and then she looked at our faces and she said oh my god you don't know early on my parents adopted patterning therapy as a way of treating her I built a table a patterning table it was this big heavy table Andrew and I used it for the Batmobile we'd put all the couch cushions on the bottom shelf, <laughs> get inside and we'd be Batman and Robin. But on the top, cover it with cornstarch. And it took at least three people, one to move their arms back and forth, one to move their legs back and forth, her, and one to move her head from side to side. The thought was that if you stimulated her muscles in different ways, it would cause some kind of development, whether that was physical or mental or emotional. And then she had to crawl a lap around our bedroom, out the hall, mile. down down the hall, <clears throat> around the living room. Eighty laps was a mile. She did a mile a day. We made knee pads for both Sarah and the adult, and you'd crawl with her. She just you just you just crawl with her, and you do this every day. Jane had to go up and down the street and knock on doors and get as many as thirty volunteers to come in in hour-long shifts.
It was a pretty big day. You were graduating. And uh, how did it feel to be up on stage with everyone like that? It felt kind of sad because I'm leaving the school and it's kind of happy that I'm moving on to better things. So kind of bittersweet. Yes. Do you think that other people felt like that? Yes, I do. But was there was there something that you think you learned the most from your teachers? What, like the most valuable thing that you learned from your teachers? The most valuable thing that I learned was to like use my words. Sarah is one of the most optimistic and probably pure people I know. Uh, she is almost always happy that she's not opaque. She doesn't want to hide. She's very transparent about what she loves and what she's passionate about and what she's interested in. And even if she's still working on improving on it, she is the best. And it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing to see. I love her more than anything in the world. Mm -hmm. She has um, taught me how to love, how to be selfless. She taught me what was urgent and important in life. You know, it was not material stuff. It was not what you're house looks like, what your yard looks like, what car you're driving. It just taught me what, how much, how capable I was to love. So what's one thing that you're happy about? I am happy about trying something new. They were talking about young adults a lot in graduation. Do you feel like a young adult? Yes, I do.